Good morning Year 10, my name is Mr Gillow, I'm the Head of the Upper School and welcome to your Assembly. So what is the role of a Head of Upper School and what are some of my expectations? Well, I oversee the heads of year and tutors and make sure they're really looking after you well. I want to ensure there's a clear link between your academic and your pastoral support, so important over the next two years of your schooling. Throughout the two years, we'll be wanting to ensure that you're best placed for success and that you go on to the best possible Key Stage 5 sixth form or college. And at all times, obviously, I want to help you celebrate all of your fantastic achievements and also pick you up and offer guidance and support when needed. Purpose, the reason for which something is done or created or for which something exists. So over the last seven years that I've been at the Archer Academy, now and again, the odd student would say to me, well, what's the point? And this was quite obvious as they went into upper school about thinking, what's the point of this? What's the point of being in maths? What's the point of being in English? Well, I want you to think about today, what is your purpose? What are your end goals? And moving forward, how are you going to use that purpose to strive to do the, be the best that you can be? This is a real opportunity as you come into upper school to get that purpose right in front of your eyes and maximise your potential. So what do I expect from you? Well, before I go into that, I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about my experiences of being in year 10 and 11 when I was at secondary school. Top right hand corner, you can see a photo of Mr Gillow. Yes, I did have hair. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about how I found that experience. I went to a grammar school in Salisbury, Wiltshire. It was a very traditional old grammar school and I was probably not at the top end of the academic uh, cohort. However, I started to realise that I had to do certain things to succeed when I was in school. The first thing was that I needed to work hard. I had to work hard to get results and I also needed to enjoy my learning. I'd chosen my options like many of you have just done and I realised that I was now choosing subjects that I really had an interest in. But because I had to try a bit harder, I had to ask questions and I had to speak up when I had concerns too. So I quickly realised that I needed to be talking to my teachers and to my friends to make sure that any answers that I didn't know I could have an answer to. I then realised that it was important because there were younger students in the school to be a role model. I became a prefect. I was a member of many of the sports teams and I also just made sure that I was just looking after them. And that's important and I want to see that from you as well. But I wasn't perfect and I did make mistakes and I had to very quickly learn from them. I boiled it down to this, doing the basics, being on time, doing your homework, being nice to people. Our school motto is work hard and be nice to people. You need to lead by example as upper school students now and maximise every opportunity that you have. One of the most important things that you'll do when you start back in upper school is making a good bond with year 11. Now, any team or group that form will go through different stages and it's just to be aware that this might take a little bit of time to settle. Initially, you'll obviously talk to them and you may have some sessions in terms of fusion forms to try and enable you to make some new friends and, and, and hopefully that will help. But there might be a little bit of a storming phase where you start to express how you feel about someone being a leader or a joker and that's perfectly normal. But you do need to try and make sure that this is a fluid building. We don't have your 10 and 11 as separate, we are as an upper school and it's important that if we're going to perform as the best possible team that we go through those stages and we, we are all in this together and we look after each other. So be nice to each other, talk to people and hopefully you'll make some new friends. So I'm going to return to purpose. So what is the point? Well, We can't hide behind the fact that results are really important in year 10 and 11. You want to get the best GCSE results you can so that you can go to the best college or sixth form that you can. The majority of you so that you can go on to the best university that you can. But it's more than just this. As you come into the upper school, you do have a responsibility as senior students. You are role models to the lower school. Remember that and be proud of that. You're going to need to show drive. You're going to need to show grit. It's going to get a bit hard at times. Workload will increase. Homework will increase. But we're in it together and remember about that purpose that we just spoke about. You can support yourself by being brave. Take the odd risk, calculated risk. Go to a new enrichment, go to study hall. Stay for an additional opportunity such as a Bright Ideas lecture. 
all of these things will help you go back to that purpose and hopefully you will gain those results that you really want. But within this, you have to be able to communicate. You need to make sure you're telling us when things are tough and telling us if things are not quite right. And as an upper school, we really appreciate that good communication. But don't be a laggard. It's a funny word, I know. But don't be one of those people who are so far behind towards the end of year 10 that they have a really difficult time in year 11. So what can you do to be successful this year? Well, no doubt some of you feel like the person in the image in the middle of the screen, in a bit of a dip. 2020 hasn't been a particularly fair year so far. So I wonder what your plan, your journey is to come out of that dip as you move into the autumn term and as you start the upper school. Have you started thinking about college or sixth form? I know, it is really early, but there's no reason to start looking at courses and entry requirements because that might just be the carrot that you need to keep you motivated. You've got lots of things to look forward to as you move into year 10. Work experience in March gives you a chance to spend a week in an industry of your choice. This might be a possible career that you might be interested in, but make sure you choose it well because that will add to your purpose of why you need to work hard in school. And there are some wider opportunities as you return to school. Get involved with leadership opportunities. I want to see more senior students working with our younger students on the lower school, helping them with organising activities and mentoring. For some of you, it will just be a fresh start. Perhaps you didn't work as hard as you should have in lower school. We won't be holding any judgments. We'll just be looking forward to welcoming you to upper school. And some of you it will just be about seeing your friends again. Hold on to that. That's important as well. As you move towards the end of year 10, you will have a very important week of exams. So as you're going through your year 10, have that end goal that you want to make sure that you succeed as much as you can in that set of assessments. Now, I've spoken a lot about expectations and work ethic, and all of those are really important, but we're just coming back from a very uncertain time, and I'm sure that some of you have got some worries and fears and concerns. You need to understand that our priority is about making sure that you are safe and happy as you return to school. Your well-being and mental health will be front and centre of everything we do. And what we ask is that you reach out and speak out if you do have any concerns. Your tutors, head of year, myself, all staff actually are here if you at any point have any of those concerns. Can I ask that you look after your peers and also your staff and then as a community, hopefully, we'll be able to deal with all of these small worries and fears. So year 10, we're at the end of our assembly now. I just want to end with a couple of brief points and an even briefer reflection. On Show My Homework today, there will be a guide to upper school and a year 10 preparation booklet. Please complete the activities and read through that guide very carefully. There'll also be a number of videos from your year 10 teachers from foundation subjects. Please watch the videos and do any of the activities they suggest. They've worked really hard on these and finally, for me, it's a reflection. As your head of upper school, I can do a lot of things to help you. I can celebrate when you've had a good exam result or you've achieved something in your own personal life. I can also help you when you're going through a rough time and offer support and guidance. But I think this quote from Mother Teresa sums up exactly what we need to do over the next two years as a team and a community. I can do things you cannot. You can do things I cannot. Together, we can do great things. So year 10, I wish you well. I hope you enjoy the last couple of weeks of term and have a restful summer. I hope to see you very soon and I can't wait to work with you over the next two years. Thank you and take care.